Let's keep the hackers or the man from eavesdropping on our phone calls, shall we? This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Welcome to episode 29 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. Speaking of Twitter, if you've been following me at all for the past few weeks, you know that I've been watching an epic boatload of 24. I have Netflix, and I've been working hard to power through all eight seasons. At the time of this filming, I have just started with season six. While watching a few episodes, I found it funny how easy it is for the fictional counter-terrorist unit to hack into cell towers and intercept cell phone conversations. Well, that is unless it's a conversation between Chloe and Jack, because Chloe always has a way to encrypt, or as they put it, scramble the calls. That got me thinking, how hard would it be to set up my own secure method of communicating with Chloe? It turns out, it's pretty friggin' easy. In my own test environment, I was able to set up my own secure phone system that I could potentially share with anyone I wanted to have secure conversations with, and it would make it very difficult, if not impossible, to keep others from snooping in on the call. I did it all using free software, too. I'll explain what I did right after this. During the summer, it seems like everyone is out of the office, working remotely, going on vacation, pretty much any excuse they could muster to stay the hell out of the office. Welcome to the loneliest room during the summer, the meeting room. This is yet another reason that we at Tech Shop recommend GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It allows you to meet face-to-face with your work-avoiding colleagues, no matter where they are. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, it just takes a webcam and a click to collaborate in group HD video. iPad users can even join in the meeting with the free GoToMeeting app. You can see your attendees eye to eye while collaborating on documents in real time. You'll feel instantly connected, even if they're in Los Angeles, and you're off soaking up the rays in Tahiti. Not to mention how easy it is to use GoToMeeting. As a tech guy, I think I can safely say that a monkey can figure out this program. You're smarter than a monkey, right? I mean, you are watching my show. At my company, we use GoToMeeting all the time, and we love it. You need to start using it too. Tech Shop viewers can try GoToMeeting free for 30 days if they use the promo code PODCAST. Don't wait for this special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Be sure to use the promo code PODCAST so they know that Tech Shop sent you. In the beginning of the show, I talked about setting up a secure phone system to encrypt calls and to keep bad guys from snooping in on conversations. I set this up on a Windows server running the free 3CX VoIP PBX system, which supports TLS encryption for signaling and SRTP for encrypting the actual conversation. Many of you already know that TLS is basically the next version of SSL, but you may not know what SRTP is. SRTP stands for Secure Real-Time Transport Protocol and is designed to provide encryption, message authentication, integrity, and replay protection to RTP data. In order to use it, both your server and your clients need to support SRTP. 3CX setup is very easy, as is most Windows-based software. You basically click next, 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 and your server's ready to go. I should note that you cannot make external calls without having a public SIP trunk, but that's fine for this scenario since we're only using it for encrypting phone calls to people we know. You can also set up a similar server using the very popular Linux VoIP PBX software, Asterisk. I prefer 3CX for its ease of use though, but if you're a diehard Asterisk person, you can find setup instructions for enabling TLS and SRTP at the link below. The client I used for my test was an app for Android called VoIP by Antisip. The settings I used was the IP address, colon 5061 for my domain, my extension for the username, and my password. I set up the SIP outbound proxy to use the same IP address and port as my domain. I set the protocol to TLS and set the encryption option to SRTP. The reason I used the Android app was so like Jack Bauer, I can take my secured VoIP calling into the field, you know, to protect America. On the 3CX server, in order to set up encryption, follow this article to set up TLS encryption, and when finished, you need to enable SRTP in the global settings as well as on every extension. If you want to use this system outside of the network in the field, you'll need to open up port 5061 on your firewall. Or as Jack and Chloe would say, you need to open up a socket on the internet. All you have to do to place a call is dial the person you want to call's extension and hit send. 
With both your client and your server set up to use TLS and SRTP, you're ready to go rogue against Division's orders to get the job done and to bring terrorists to justice. Chloe, it's Bauer. Have you decrypted the Cypress recordings yet? Damn it! That's it for this episode. If you know any other free SIP clients that support SRTP and TLS, especially for iPhone, let us know in the comments or sound off on the Facebook page. Be sure to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll see you next week right here on Tech Shop. Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.